Hi there, boys and girls. I'm gonna do a quick read aloud called Career Day. This goes along with our theme this week of goods and services. Um, everybody has a different type of job and their job either provides a good or a service. A good is something that someone makes for us and a service is something that someone does for us. So we're gonna read this story and learn a little bit about some goods and services and different jobs that people do. This story is written by Anne Rockwell and it's illustrated by Lizzie Rockwell. When special visitors come to our school, they tell us about the work they do. Then we tell them about the work we do. Today is my turn to introduce my visitor. What if I forget what I'm supposed to say? Sometimes that happens. Not just to me, Mrs. Madoff says but to everyone. Here he is, right on time. Uh, this is my dad, I say. He drives a big bulldozer. He's helping build our new library. Good morning, Mr. Lopez, everyone says. Good morning, boys and girls, my dad says. Next, we meet Charlie's visitor. His mother is a judge who works in a courtroom and wears a long black robe. If there's too much noise, she pounds her gavel and says, order in the court, and then everyone has to be quiet. So she provides a service. When Kate introduces her visitor, she says, my dad plays bass in an orchestra at night. He practices all day and takes care of my baby brother while my mother goes to work at the bank. He's providing a service, which is playing music, but you could also say that he's providing a good, which is music. Miko's mother writes books for us to read. She draws the pictures in them too. She is very good at drawing mice. So she's providing a good. She's making books for us. Mrs. Madoff's visitor is her husband. He's a scientist called a paleontologist. He just got back from South America where he was digging for dinosaur bones. The bones tell us about dinosaurs that lived long ago. So this is a service so that we can learn more about dinosaurs. Sarah's visitor is our crossing guard. She brings Sarah to school every day because she is also Sarah's grandmother. That's why Sarah is always the first one at school and the last one to go home in the afternoon. So this is another service. She's making sure everybody crosses the street safely. Evelyn's mother is a nurse in the hospital. She takes care of all the newborn babies in our town. She tells us those babies are very, very cute but they sure do cry a lot when they're hungry. Jessica's mother takes care of animals. She's a veterinarian, the kind of doctor who makes sick animals better. Sam's visitor drives the sanitation truck that carries our garbage to the big town dump. Kate and Evelyn and I wave to him just as we always do whenever he comes down our street. Hey kids, remember to recycle, Sam's father says. Evan's father wears a leather apron that holds the tools he uses all the time. He shows us how to hammer a nail. When it's time for Nicholas to introduce his visitor, he says, I'll bet you've all bought groceries at the Friendly Farm Market. Guess what? My father is the manager of that store. Today is Mr. Cisco's turn to introduce his special, vi special visitor. He says, good morning, everyone. I'd like you to meet Professor Elkhorn. He's my teacher at college. Hey, I never knew grownups had teachers too. Grown-ups sure have interesting work to do, and so do we. I wonder what I'll be when I grow up. 
There's lots of options. So I hope you can think of something that you'll be when you grow up.